Chrysler has a program that you have to download onto your computer so your computer will have all the necessary drivers to download the updates onto your computer and then onto the vehicle. In order to get this program, go to techauthority.com. Type in techauthority.com into your web browser and hit enter. And it takes you to the Tech Authority page. Now look up here and you'll see Tech Authority Online. Click on that. It takes you to another page where they want you to uh, log in. So type in your email address and your password. Click the login and now you're on a new page. Down here at the bottom where we're pointing, you can see that we're asking you to check and make sure your subscription is up to date. If it's not, you're going to have to go get it up to date to go get this program. And then we want you to click on Tech Authority online once again. They want you to type in your email and your password, click login, and now you're on this page here. Look down about a third where we start with the blue tabs that say TSB slash recalls. Follow that line over until you see flash and then click on that and it takes you to this page. Now look in the top left hand corner up there. This update procedures requires the use of SAE J2534 pass through adapter and an OEM provided application, meaning the update. Click here to download the latest application and see an overview. So we click here and then we go to this page here. Now what we have to do in some cases on some web browsers they're going to want you to activate ActiveX. This warning says this website wants to run the following add-on and it gives you that information that file number from Microsoft Corporation. If you trust the website, go ahead and click. Well, the only way you can get continue on here is go ahead and click here. Click right in that yellow bar there. And then it tells you that do you want to run ActiveX? What's the risk? More information? Well, in order to continue, you have to run ActiveX. So click in ActiveX, and it says, do you really want to do it? It's that Microsoft warning, you know, that follow-up saying, you really want to run it? Yeah, run it. So we click on Run, and then after it's turned on, ActiveX is turned on, we're going to scroll down this page here until we see Step 2 there. Download and install the latest Daimler Chrysler J2534-1 application, and they want you to click here. The latest version is here, so we're going to click here, and it says, do you want to run this file? Well, you want to save it, so click on Save, and it's very normal for people want to save files where they want to save them. Uh, most people who do Chrysler updating tells us that it's, it's very important to let Chrysler save where they want to and then you remember where it's at. And this is going to save an icon to our desktop so we'll always be able to see it. So we're going to click Save and it's going to run its program. This is the setup program. When it's done, it's going to tell you that the download is complete and then you're going to click run and the publisher could not be verified another security warning of course you know what you're downloading here so click run and it's preparing to install when it's completed installing it tells you that you have to click next and then it gives you a license agreement it wants you to go ahead and accept the license agreement click next and as you do that it's ready to install a program so go ahead and click install and then it installs the program it tells you it may take several minutes it depends on how slow or fast your computer is now it tells you it's ready to be finished so it's the wizard is completed so go ahead and click finish and then it takes you back to this web page close this window out then close the next window out and using these red X's just keep closing the windows out until you're back on your desktop and now you can see you have a new icon on your desktop and this is the program you need to do all Chrysler reprogramming.